Hey YouTube family, um, Shawnee just checking in. Uh, I didn't, I'm not doing a, a workout video for today. Um, I had a totally different type of workout. I did a lot of um, housework and um, I did some walking. And um, so I didn't upload a video of that. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing as far as my eating. And um, I'm a vegetarian. So right now at this time, um, well, actually today I'm on a complete fast, um, a complete water fast. And the week, um, the first week, um, well, it's not a whole, well, it has been a whole week because today is my eighth day. So um, the week before, um, I was eating nothing but salad. And so I was doing a salad fast where I just have water and salad. Um, because whenever I begin to do, um, I've done this, uh, the weight loss thing before and I did really good at it. So I'm just using some techniques that I, um, had used before. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, I had gotten to a point where I was raw. Even I went from being vegetarian to completely raw. And that's my goal is to get back to eating completely raw. Um, and, um, so th yeah, that's just to let everybody know I'm a vegetarian. So I eat a lot of salad and things like that. But the thing that gives me weight is when I eat rice and pasta and, um, and bread. And so I haven't been eating any bread since I started. I ate some bread yesterday. Um, but the whole time, the whole eight days, um, other than, you know, just yesterday, no, I haven't eaten any, um, breads at all. And um, I have a rule with myself that I just, if I want to have something, I have it one day out of the week and that's it. Because it cannot um, hinder me or affect me, you know, in any way. I don't believe because I've done, the, again, I've done this before and it doesn't hinder my weight loss. Um, so, yeah, it does. It never, you know, it messes with my efforts in any type of way if I just have, like, you know, some kind of treat as long as I don't overdo it which I don't um usually for me when I don't eat a lot of junk and what I call garbage food um if I have something I don't need much of it because I'm not even used to it anymore um in other words it's almost like um some like if you ate something that was too rich you know so um, junk foods don't set right with me as much one, once I get on the path, you know, um, I really, my problem in the past has been that I started just overeating for like comfort. Um, and you know, be, because I was sad and it made me happy, you know, so I, I really, as far as I have really good control over eating, it's just that I had to learn not to use food as, um, a way of making myself happy. That was my big problem. So I think I have it now because um, I realized what the problem was and why I kept going back after doing so well um, is because I just need to needed to find a different way to cope with when problems arise in my life or something really bothers me and it's really, really, you know, hard to deal with. And I'm talking about tragedies, like real serious stuff. So, um... Basically, that's that's it as far as my eating. Um, I will keep you all informed. Um, I don't know. When I fast, it's something that I do. Um, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> so I come off the fast when I come off the fast, and I'll let you know when I'm off the fast. But today I'm on a water fast. It just happened. And so when I'm off, I'll let you know I'm off the fast, and I'll let you all know what I'm eating from day to day. So, um yeah, mostly with me eating is, is fine. As long as I don't mess around with um, rice, um, pasta, bread, and sugary foods, I'm fine. And um, right now, I'm, you know, I'm good and I don't feel like I'm craving those things or anything. Um, when I do eat bread, I eat whole grain bread. But again, I just I'd rather not have bread at all because even whole grain bread is like... It just sticks to me. It sticks to my ribs and it just wants to, you know, it blows me up. So I can't have that stuff. Pasta, I completely eliminated a long time ago. It was one of my favorites a while back, but it was one of the things that, you know, was a problem. 
but I don't know. I haven't eaten pasta in goodness knows how long. But recently, it has been bread and rice. So those are the things that, you know, I'll let you know if I slip up or not. Um, and I'll be uploading um, uh, some, kind, some type of video tomorrow. And um, basically, that's it. Uh, be sure to check out my websites, um, especially slimbyfaith.com. Um, I will be updating it. I hadn't been updating it because I've been so busy with YouTube lately and um, some other things that I do on the Internet. But, um, yeah, just check, keep, keep up with my websites. At least check them out um, once a week or twice a week because I'll be posting there couple times a week um I won't be doing I used to do I used to try to do seven days a week but now that I'm doing YouTube um it, it takes a lot and and as I said there's some other things that I've just gotten involved with and I'm also writing some books so um my books will be out in June at the latest no later than June 30th but I'm, I'm shooting for June between June 7th and 15th um but you know the more I get into the more um, it seems like the date gets pushed back a little bit more. So, um, but that's just my goal is to make sure that they are out in the month of June, no matter what. Um, so, um, and it's going to be my first two books. I have a whole list of books that I'm working on because I'm 41 and I was supposed to have um, shared my, um, the wisdom that I've been blessed with from God um, years ago. And I didn't. And, you know, because my self-esteem and a lot of family issues and things, you know, hindering me all the time. But now it's like, you know, I'm, I'm on the path and I'm not letting anything stop me. I, I'm, I'm on a mission to, you know, leave my words here on this planet and my I feel my life story and my experiences. I think we've all been through something. And from your story and your life experiences and even your observations, if you're good at analyzing situations, you have something to offer. You know, so that's my thing. I got to get this stuff um, in books and, 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 and get it done because no one knows the day or the hour that they will be gone from the earth. You know, we don't know what are everybody talking about the the end of the world well the end of the world is different could be different for every person you know no one knows if if they gonna get up tomorrow so i just pray that i'm i'm blessed to be able to finish up you know a minimum i have this goal of like at least you know between 12 and i say 21 books because that's i, I have at least that many in me and um you know i just didn't have faith to believe that i could do it so I'm just doing it now. If you're a writer or whatever your gift is, if you paint, I know people who paint, draw, they don't, they just don't use their gifts and just get up and use your gift because the world needs your gift. Don't take your gift to the grave. You know, it's a whole bunch of women in my family that write and, or wrote and they're in the grave. Nobody in my family wrote, I'm going to be the first one who actually has something, you know, published and I know I'm gonna sell a whole lot you know but <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna be the first one to actually do something like that where you know it's it's a serious thing that you know not just writing an article in the magazine or something like that and then dropping the pen and not um proceeding forth um and it's horrible because my entire family writes all of my children all of my sisters everyone writes so Somebody has got to, you know, break that curse that we just don't, we don't get published. And geez, I mean, I don't want to mention them on um, this video, but there's some people in my family who write so much better than me. And they have um, a, a more vast vocabulary than I do. And it's like, wow, you know, so I just want to be the one to do that. Hopefully others will see me and say, hey, she came from the hood. You know, she did it. I can do it, too. And that's that's the other reason that I'm really, really doing it, to be totally honest with you. I had given up on life and everything, but I felt that um, I heard the um, God in my spirit, and I call him Yah, in my spirit telling me, um, you know, will you get up and do it for others? And so that is what actually got me up is that I feel like if I do something good with my life, it's going to help others to say, you know, she ain't no different than me. She came from the hood, you know? So at any rate, you know, take those words and get up and do something.
Okay? All right, y'all. Be blessed.